Hi everyone and welcome back to Valheim. This is episode 20 and today I want to upgrade the house a little bit. So let's jump right into it. And here we are. So I want to upgrade the house. I want to start with this area, the forge area. And to do that, we'll need a special table called the stone cutter. So I've already get, I've already took what, what it took to cre create it, just to save a bit of time. So let's place it down. And now we can create a few stuff. Well, a few, a lot of stuff using stone. So it needs a roof. Okay, let's make a roof on top of that. Okay, so now it's got a roof. It shouldn't whine. Okay, so sharpening stone. Let's create that just like so okay so now we can make a grinding wheel i think i unlocked a bunch of stuff okay yeah i do so the stone cutter needs to be nearby but now we can craft uh, walls different kind of walls we can make a stone floor we can make stone stairs so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna renovate the uh, the forge area a little bit so i'm gonna make that and i'll see you i also forgot to mention since i'm gonna be crafting a lot I took my best stamina food, so let's see how much stamina we have with all of that. We've got 225, so that's the most amount of stamina we can have for now. So that's going to be useful for crafting because we need to break down a lot of stuff, we need to place down a lot of stuff, and every time it takes stamina. So if I spam the deconstruct button like so, my stamina goes down, so the more that I have, the better I am. I've also realized I don't need to put a roof on the... On the stone cutter, I just need to put it somewhere and then I, I can place my, my stone stuff. As it turns out, putting a lot of stone structures on the ground takes a lot of rocks. So guess who needs to go mine rocks for the next two hours now? That's right! So after spending a stupid amount of time in the black forest, I've mined enough rocks for now. It should be enough for a little bit. I have... Uh, I have a good amount, so let's continue the forge project. So far, this is what the how the forge looks like. So I've did a bit of work. I continued the floor and I made some walls around it with some uh, some little ledge, just so it feels a bit more intimate. I've put a new heart in here, so we can have a source of fire. We, can, we could also put some cooking stuff on top of it, because that works as well. But I want to reserve that for the kitchen area. So this is the forge section. I have the, uh, the smelter and the kiln. I left that other section over here all free, because we will get another kind of smelter in not that long. So I have space for upgrade in my forge. I also changed the actual forge station area a little bit. So this is how it looks like. And so this is all the forge section done. I, I've had the grinding wheel here. It's an upgrade to the um, the forge. So as we can see, we can, we can now upgrade uh, more than we used to. I don't have the materials for it, but we, we can upgrade quite a bit now. And so this is what the forge looks like now. I will now continue to do the uh, the kitchen area. I want to have a proper bedroom, a proper chess place, and maybe even a proper a proper work workbench stuff because it, it all looks a bit uh, <laughs> a bit poor compared to my forge section. This looks like castle kind of castle. So yeah, I'll work on that. And the kitchen area is done. I've also added two doors over here for the, the forge area, just so it feels like another, another area of the house. And so this is how the new kitchen looks like. I've added a little rug over here, so it feels a little bit, a little bit more at home with the table and the chairs and stuff. So over here we have the two fermenters that I will use and the chest with all the stuff in it. And here is the cooking place. So I've added the uh, the spice rack and the butcher table over there to have our upgrades. And we ha we put a herd down, so now we can uh, we can cook stuff in the cauldron. I've also put only three uh, meat station cooking station for the meat because I found myself to not cook meat that much, so it wasn't that useful. 
So that's how it looks like. And then over here we have all our, our chest storage on which I can put all the ingredients over here. So this is how the new kitchen looks like. Alright, let's do another section. And another section of the house is completed. So I haven't recorded all of it because uh, the, the whole process of me creating it because I had a lot of back and forth and demolishing and I, I wasn't really sure what I was going with. So I just uh, I will just show you the end result. So this is the brand new workbench area. So it's much wider now. So we have an actual spot for the workbench where I can put more upgrades if there is any that comes in the future. There's the whole chest area. I don't like it. Uh, it's a bit too um, too plain. Just like a bunch of chests next to each other and on top of each other. I don't like it. But I may be, maybe I will change that in the future. But for now it's it's just... It's practical, so that's why it is there. There's also the big chest for the uh, all the gear that was the uh, on top of my bed. Speaking of bed, I redid the whole bedroom. So as you can see, I opened up this section a bit more, and I've made an actual bedroom. So currently, there's a stone cutter and a workbench that's just lying around because I I had to build a lot, so it was easier because you need to be in proximity of it. So this is the new bedroom. So I've put a, a heart there so I can have a source of fire and those hearts can be put on floor and a normal fire can't. So that's why this bedroom is a bit elevated from the ground. So I have a, a chest here uh, that I, I can put some stuff in it. I've got a few pieces of decoration. So the goal was not for it to look that pretty. It wasn't my main concern. It's just to upgrade the comfort level. So if you check on the top right, you can see resting comfort 10 and it gives 17 minutes, which is higher than what we got before. Because uh, some items of decoration, they do improve your, uh, your comfort level, such as uh, the chair, the stool, the bench, the table. I don't really know by heart which one gives what. I just put a bunch and hope for the best. That brings my comfort high. I know the banner upgraded when I put it down, the rugs as well. Uh, this pile of coins was just kind of for uh, kind of a bit decoration. I don't think it helps with the comfort, but it also frees up a space in my chest because that used uh, 999 coins. So that frees up a, a, an inventory slot in my chest as well as being decorative. Same for this little pile of gold. So this is the new bedroom. So it gives, as I said, 17 minutes, which is better than what we got before. So this is the two new areas that I created. The workbench one and the bedroom. So all that's left now is to have a place for the portals. And honestly, I think that for now, I'll just put them over there. On the on the left side of my forge area. I've also put a little, <laughs> a little uh, roof over there. Because when it's raining, the heart goes out. So with that little roof, that doesn't happen. So yeah, I will put portals over here. All my portals that I had, because I had to destroy them all. And I also need to do the crops area. So those are onions in the back. I did uh, collect more and I put them in my, in my, uh, in my kitchen. So I want to do a proper farm area, like with, with stone delimitations and I also, all, all of this barrier, this wooden barrier, I destroyed quite a bit of it, so I was able to uh, to upgrade the house. So it looks kind of bad uh, from the outside. It's just like wood walls all around. But with the, uh, with the barriers, it will offer one protection and two, it will look a little bit better. But it's looking pretty good right now in terms of uh, practical utility in the inside of the house. I really like how it turned out. And so let's do the uh, the farming spot now. And so the farm is complete. So let's see how it turned out. I'll need to put a few torches. So I've separated the field. I made it bigger for once. And secondly, I separated the field in, in sections. So I want to have those two sections over there being the crops. And I want this section over here.
to be the seed, so it will be uh, plants to collect. I've also relocated the uh, the beehives over here. I'll have six there, and maybe I'll add more over there when I get more. And with this spacing, they're they're all happy. They all produce uh, honey, as we can see. So yeah, it's looking great so far. I've added uh, stakes all over the place. The the wood pillars. Let's see from the outside how it looks. So this is how it looks like from the outside. So everything has been protected by spikes and it looks more like an actual domain now instead of just a a pile of uh of just stone walls for no reason so yeah it looks much better the only thing the only thing left now that i want to do is well a bit more decoration because that looks barren in the house maybe add some maybe adding some carpets just to add a little bit of life in it and I need to add the portals over here. So let's do let's let's go do that. And so I crafted the portals. There is one that isn't connected. Uh I don't know how I called it, but I have home, which is where the elder is. I have bone mass, which is where the swamp is. I have mountains, which is the second one that we found. It's this one over here. So we got that one. And for now, I mean, it looks good. I, I really don't need any any other portals, so it doesn't really matter if I have a fourth one. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to use it for, uh, for something else. I'll remove the name. So if I bring a portal with me for another exploration, I'll be able to just pop down a portal and jump right into it. So this is it. So a little something happened. I had to AFK after doing the portal, and while I was AFK, I was just on a crafting table. Uh, no, actually I was uh, on a chest, open like that. That doesn't pause the game, so what happened is I got raided by skeletons. So they destroyed the house, all my front area here was destroyed. And all the workbench area at the back was all destroyed and half of my chest all broken. I knew it was skeletons because when I came back there was two hanging in the front of my house. All the other ones were gone. So if the workbench area doesn't look exactly the same as it was a few minutes ago. That is why I had to rebuild everything and put back into the chest. So I sorted all of my chest now. Everything that I had is all at the right spot. So let's start with the forge area first, because I, I want to show you guys uh, all my chests. So over here we have uh, all the things that can be smelted. I wasn't, I didn't bother to, to put them in the smelter yet. Here we have the charcoal. Over here next to the kiln we have uh, wood that I will put in there to be ready to be uh, to be put in the kiln. Over here is all the chests that are related to the forge. So at the bottom here we have all the metals that are that are smelted and all the rest of the chests are empty but I will put things related to that in here. This chest over here is kind of like a, a temporary one that I can put stuff in here when I have to come back quickly into the house. Inside the house itself, the cooking uh, area. So here with the fermenter we have all the potions that we can craft and I will put the mead uh, that are ready to be put in the fermenter as well. Over here we have all the raw meat, we have all the cooked meat, and then we have all the meal that are ready to be uh, consumed. They are, they are all ready done. It's kind of like my, uh, my storage. Over here we have all the chests that are the ingredients to be put in the cauldron. So at the top over here we have like the misks, the stuff I didn't know really where to put. This one's empty. This one got all the seeds. So every onions, carrot, turnips, I will put in here. And here is the trees one. So the beech, the acorns to uh, for the oak trees, the birch seeds, and the fir cones. Here we have everything that I can pick up from the ground uh, in the forest, or in that. In the case of this one, uh, they're dropped by monsters, but they allow me to reset my food, so I found it useful. Over here is everything that I can collect from something. So all the vegetables, the honey I can collect too, so I put it there. And this one I, 
I have not decided yet. The chest that's in my bedroom, I didn't put anything in it. I didn't need to yet. This one is all the gear. So all the gear that I don't use anymore or that may be useful in the future, I'll put in there, such as like the Fenris set that we get from the Frost Caves. And over here is all the materials that I had. So they're basically in the same order that it was before, but in the different chests. So over here we have all the heads with the two remaining here. Here is a, a placeholder for something else. This one I didn't know where to put those stuff, so I just put them in here. Over here we have all the things that I found in the frost caves. Over here we have kind of misks as well, like bones and chains and ancient bark. I didn't know where to put them really, so I just put them in that chest. Over here is all the valuables, the things that I can sell to the, uh, the merchant when I find him, the trader. Over here we have all the uh, all the hides, so leather scraps, deer hide, troll hide. I'll put the wolf hide in here too, and the lux hide later on. Over here is the resin and the feathers, as well as the great dwarf eyes. So just like it was in the previous chest. Here is all the special wood, so fine wood and uh, core wood. Over here we have all the normal wood, and over here we have the stones. So I I need all of those for over here. I forgot to put a torch in here. It's pretty dark. Let me grab some wood and some resin. And I can put a torch. I'll, I'll put two torches. So it, it's so so we can see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. So I'm going to end this episode over here. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome!